Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Katerina and this is your go-to source for real estate in Toronto. Today we are diving into Toronto market bid for May 2024. We've got some interesting trends, stats and insights to share. So make sure you stick around till the end and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all the latest updates. So let's get started. First up, let's talk about the total residential transactions. Year over year, we have seen a significant drop by 21.7%. The slowdown in transactions has a ripple effect on the market. The average selling price is also down by 2.5% compared to last year. The total new listings are up by 21.1%. That means more inventory is available. The days on the market for properties have increased by 40% year over year, which means homes are taking longer to sell. Now let's dig into the sales to new listings ratio. In May 2024, the ratio was 38% compared to 58% in May 2023. This tells us we have more inventory and fewer sales. Total condo apartment sales are up by 5.3%. Total new listings are up by 23.3% compared to last quarter. And days on the market are 22.2% more uh, compared to last quarter. Let's look at the condominium rental market. The total apartments rental have surged by 19.7% compared to last quarter. Why? Because many people find renting is more affordable than buying, especially with the current interest rates. New listings for rentals are up by staggering 49.3% compared to last quarter. This increase is largely driven by the interest rates hikes, making it more expensive to buy and hence more people are opting to rent. So why so many people are renting instead of buying? Canada is a country where most real estate is purchased with a mortgage and for buyers the monthly payment is crucial. Back in February 2022, you could get a mortgage at around 2.60%. If you bought $600,000 condo and borrowed $550,000, your monthly payment will be around $2,409. Today, you can get same condo for much less money. Let's say $50,000 less to borrow $500,000, 5.6% interest rate. Your monthly payment will be $3,000. $508, you will pay $2,560 interest and $844 principal, which means it costs you $2,564 to borrow $844 plus payment of property taxes, another $300, and maintenance fee, uh, which is another $500. So the carrying cost for the unit is $4,400 and only $844 go to principal. You can list the same condo for $2,500 per month. So many people choose to lease instead of buying. If you bought an average condo or a house today, it would cost you a lot more when the prices were at their peak in February 2022. Plus, with property taxes and maintenance fees, the carrying cost of owning a condo or a home is high. For many, leasing a condo for $2,500 per month is much more manageable option. Finally, let's discuss the impact of interest rates on the market. During the peak in February 2022, the average Toronto home cost $1,330,000 with mortgage rate significantly lower than they are today. As of February 2024, home prices have dropped to $1,100,000, but mortgage rates have increased dramatically. The Bank of Canada recently cut its key interest rate by 25 basis points to 4.75%, which is a small relief. However, many buyers are still waiting on the sidelines, hoping for more rate cuts uh, as uh, central bank has hinted at uh, further reductions, which can bring some relief uh, to potential buyers later this year. It's a challenging time for buyers, especially younger ones. 
and uh, homeowners uh, who purchased their home during or shortly after the pandemic. If rates remain elevated, we may see more people selling their homes as uh, carrying costs becomes unaffordable. That's a wrap for our Toronto market bid for May 2024. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friend. And don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with all things real estate in Toronto. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!